Hello, hello. See you guys. I told you I'd be back today. All right, I'm not going to hold you long because I know more of, most of you want to get out there. And either if you haven't put a brisket on, you probably need to put it on now because it usually takes 10 to 12 hours. But I'm going to do something that my mom would do for the 4th of July. And just remember, you guys, Miss O is from the country. We raise pigs, sheep, chickens, every animal you could think of. We'd actually go to the chicken coop and get the eggs. So my mom would do a confetti cornbread because like on the 4th of July, we might have greens. We might have red beans. We'd always have potato salad, brisket, ribs, chicken. But as far as the sides, you know, it was just whatever she wanted to do. So today I'm going to show you how to do this cast iron skillet confetti cornbread. Nope, not from scratch. Here we go. I got one package of corn kits. This is six ounces. You see this, you guys? You wait till you see this cornbread. I have one 8.5 ounce of Jiffy corn muffin mix. We're going to need canola oil. We're going to need sour cream. We're going to need Southwest corn with poblano and red peppers. We're going to need sweet cream style corn. We're not going to use the whole can, of course, and we're not going to use the whole can on the uh, poblano uh, whole kernel corn. Also, we're going to need milk. We're going to need eggs and we are going to need a cast iron skillet. So you guys, I'm going to prep everything, preheat your oven to 300 and no, sorry, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. All right. And I'll show you what else to do to your cast iron skillet. So let me get everything prepped up, give you the measurements and we'll get this cornbread in the oven and call it a good night. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, let's go. Here in this bowl here, I have the prepared uh, corn muffin mix, the Jiffy and the corn kits. And to this, I've added one heaping tablespoon of sour cream, okay? Here I have one fourth cup of the cream corn. So that's one fourth cup. Here I have one fourth cup of canola oil. We're gonna put that in there. Next, I have one whole cup of the Southwestern corn with the poblanos and the red peppers. We're gonna put that in there. Okay, I have two eggs that I've already beaten. So beat them before you put them in the corn muffin mix, okay? And I forgot to tell you, you guys, to your cast iron skillet, you want to add three tablespoons of canola oil, and you want to put your cast iron, cast iron in the oven that's preheated to 375 degrees. You're going to keep it in there until you finish mixing this up. So I'm going to say, put it in before you even start this. So I say the cast iron should be in there about seven to 10 minutes. And once I pull the uh, corn muffin mix, you're going to see uh, what it's going to do to the edges. Now here I have one cup of milk. I don't think I'm going to need the whole cup, but I'm going to save one cup. So what I'll have to do, you guys, since I'm filming this by myself, I'm going to have to cut you off, put the milk in. I'll come back and show you the consistency it should be and let you know the amount of milk that I used. All right, all right, you guys, here's the consistency that it should be. It actually took three fourths cup of milk. Again, that was three fourths cup of milk. And this is how it should look, okay? Now, just took the uh, cast iron skillet out that has been preheating for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna pour the batter in and show you how it sizzles. Guess I didn't get it. There you go. Can you hear it? And 
and it's going to form a really nice crust around the edge. Okay, we're going to put this in the 375 degrees preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Again, remember, it depends on your oven. And when I come back, I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes. I'm going to cut this baby, and we're going to talk a while. A uh, couple of minutes. All right, you guys. Hang tight. Okay, Royal Family, here is the finished product of the uh, confetti corn made in the cast iron skillet. Can you guys see that corn there? Uh, 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 oh, I tell you, some kind of delicious again. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to come back and I'm going to chat for about two minutes. Uh, and wish you guys a wonderful holiday. And you see I melted some butter and put chives in it. But I want you guys to see how moist this cornbread really is. And it's going to go great with your 4th of July or any time. All right. Hang tight. I will be right back. Okay, okay. I hadn't seen you guys in a while, so I thought I'd do a close-up. How's everyone doing? Are you guys excited for the 4th? And what are your plans for cooking? But anyway, I finished the uh, confetti cornbread um, with the cream corn. And you guys, I hope you can see this. I done kind of heated it up and slathered some butter. You see that corn? Oh my goodness. All right. And like I really need to, I melted some butter and put chives in it. Whoop. And I am about put it on this cornbread. I just wanted to really come on and say hi. Uh, again, thanks to all of my new subscribers, old subscribers, and everybody who watched my videos. I really appreciate it. All right, let me get a bite. Now, I told y'all I got bad eating habits, right? Ooh. It is so freaking moist, you guys. Mmm. Look at this. You can actually smash it with the fork. You see that? And it's balanced so perfect. Not too sweet. I don't like really sweet cornbread because it reminds me of eating cake. And if I want cake, I'll eat cake. But when I want cornbread, you know, I like it kind of balanced. But anyway, you guys, I'm not going to hold you long. Hope you have a great 4th of July. Stay safe. And always smile. Because there's always something to smile about. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And until we meet again, God bless you.